hi you guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel i know it has been so long since i've made a video and i've actually technically i've made videos but i haven't posted them i haven't been happy with them so i just haven't i haven't been on youtube essentially a lot has happened i got married i moved and the house that we moved into has needed a lot of work so i haven't really had time to put into this um it's just been stressful the house is pretty much the way that we want it to be at least for now um so i am back i'm making videos again i also happen to be pregnant again so today i'm going to be telling you guys how i found out that i'm pregnant all the details surrounding that i thought that would be like the best video to come back with because that's like a big life update and i really can't just continue on without addressing that so that's what we're gonna do right now so I get a lot of questions um, asking, did you try to have another one? Did you want your kid this close? Was this like a surprise? Like, you know, cause I got pregnant when Xander was nine months old and that's a little soon, but I've also, I know that some people have their kids a lot sooner after they have a kid. And I was at a point where I, I knew that I wanted another kid. I didn't necessarily like I was okay with it happening, but I was also okay with it not happening. So we weren't trying, but we weren't preventing, if that makes sense. So I knew it was possible and if, if it happened, cool. And then if it took a little longer and we didn't have another kid for another year or two, that was totally fine with me. So <laughs> clearly it did not take another year or two. Um, I apparently get pregnant very easily. So that's fun to know. But I am definitely excited. Alrighty, so just so that I kind of stay organized here, I have like notes on my phone. And I'm out of breath all the time because, you know, pregnancy does that for some reason. Like I'm literally not doing anything and I'm huffing and puffing. I believe it was around the time that I was supposed to get my period. I don't know if it was like the day I was supposed to get it or a few days after, I can't remember for sure. Or if it was like a few days before, that also could have been too. I know it was just really close to around that time. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath? Okay, I'm fine, don't worry. So the day I took the test was October 5th. I was trying to wait as long as I could, but I also don't like waiting. <laughs> so I finally woke up one morning and I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab Xander, I'm gonna put his bottle in the warmer, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'm gonna take the test, and that's what I did. So I took the test, I didn't stay in the bathroom to wait and see the results, I just put it in the box and then stuck it in the cabinet and went on my way and fed him and you know made sure that he was happy and whatever. So <laughs> my thought was as I was feeding Xander, I thought, you know, maybe I could text Zach and tell him to go into the bathroom and you know take a look in the box and then he can look and find out first but then I was I was so sure that it was going to be negative just because it was so early I thought that I probably was pregnant I was like what I tell people is I would be more surprised if I wasn't than if I was because like I said we weren't preventing I'm pretty sure now that I'm thinking about it it was a few days it was like four days before my first missed period. Um, so in my head I was like, oh, it's gonna be negative either way, even if I am, because you know, it's so early. Like those tests are usually pretty accurate and they can usually pick it up early, but like also, I didn't know, you know? <laughs> so, <sighs> I can't breathe. So. I ended up just finishing feeding Xander and we went downstairs and I think I sat him in the living room with Zach and then I went to the bathroom and I checked and he didn't know that I was taking it, I don't think. No, he didn't know. But I take it out of the box and lo and behold, that's what I see. And so I put it back in the box, I stick it back in the cupboard and I go out there and I'm like smile, like I can't hide things very well so i'm like smiling and just like <laughs> you need to go look in the box in the bathroom and so he does he goes in there and looks and is just smiling i don't honestly remember what he said like i don't know i, I wish i would have recorded it 
but the whole thing was I just I didn't think it would be positive and then I I don't know I have regrets okay like I regret not recording this um, at that point I didn't take a test because I thought I had like I didn't take a test because I had symptoms I took a test because in my head I'm like I, I should be pregnant right now like if I'm not I'm gonna be shocked type of thing just because you know <laughs> just because obviously at the time I didn't know how far along I was but like at the same time if I just went off my last period I had a pretty good idea um, so I was four weeks roughly so yeah that with my last pregnancy I found out I think I was five weeks along when I found out with Xander so yeah as far as symptoms go I didn't have any at that point I felt normal I felt like my normal self obviously because I was so early like there wasn't a lot to be feeling at that point, even though I guess everybody's experience is different with pregnancy, so I'm sure some people have symptoms when they're four weeks, but I didn't. But things changed a little bit, so right now I am almost 14 weeks. Um, but once I hit week seven and eight, I was so nauseous and so tired. And I remember being so tired with Xander, my first pregnancy, like I was completely exhausted all the time and yeah that was rough because I was working and I just yeah I was not okay <laughs> but with him I wasn't very nauseous at all I had the slightest little taste of nausea with him just just very slight this was a completely different experience for me this time around I felt horrible I didn't throw up which I don't understand how because like I almost did so many times like every day however the one thing that would help me like I would be nauseous one second and then I would do this and then the next second I was fine I would drink apple juice or like anything sweet so like a popsicle a piece of fruit like there was just anything fruity and sweet made me feel better instantly and so that was nice to know <laughs> at least like I could make it go away but oh that was rough like it went away after week eight it literally just one morning i was fine and i don't know i don't know why i don't know why it only lasts two weeks but i'm so happy that it only lasts for two weeks because i was not doing okay during that time so another one of my symptoms as you can probably tell is shortness of breath very much so which is normal especially when i go upstairs or i just walk a lot carry xander around like i'm just like <sighs> you know um and also extreme hunger so with xander i didn't have this at all but i've been very it's almost like i'll be fine one second and then the next second i'm starving like i will go to z from zero to 100 in a matter of seconds and normally with hunger, like it kind of just, you feel empty and then you feel a little hungry and then you just get a little more hungry gradually. With this, it's like, I skip all those middle steps and I'm just at that point where like, I need food right now. Um, <laughs> also, there's like a hair in my eye and that's why I can't really see out of this eye. I don't know, I just try to have like snacks available and easy things to make because I have like a toddler running around so I'm, I can't just, I don't know. I have to kind of work around his schedule, you know what I mean? <sighs> Whenever I'm eating something, he also wants to be eating something. So that's, yeah, it's been a good time. <laughs> um, also, uh, one, one other thing, one other symptom that I've been having is my cravings I haven't been very specific, but I definitely prefer sweet over salty. like. I I crave sweet all the time so I drink a lot of fruit juice because that kind of helps me like not eat cookies and like cake and stuff because that's all that I want like no salt sounds good like chicken strips oh I do not want chicken strips like that's probably the biggest aversion that I have right now is chicken strips I don't want them I don't want them to come near me I don't want to smell them I don't want to taste them I don't want to look at them like no keep them away from me please my camera is about to die so i'm going to end this video here um i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions or comments or concerns leave them down below i'm very excited to be back on this channel 
and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I finished filming that just in the nick of time, it looks like.